Hello everyone, this is Thomas and we're going to talk about how to trade the markets using price action rules. Today we had an exceptionally difficult day when it comes to price action reading skills and for that reason I want to do a bar by bar review of today's lesson because we want to truly comprehend the rules of price action, how we should apply them to structure we had today. The market started with the trading range structure, there's a big move down and a big move up. As there is a big uptrend working higher, according to price action trend line rules, after a break of a trend line, traders will create a new extreme most often than not. But in this instance, there was a tool like a pullback at the exponential moving average, which is a high probability setup, but price failed to create a new extreme and instead went into an area of consolidation. You can see how EMA is pointing up, but this point on EMA is starting to get flat and this represents a trading range. So market opened around this area and you want to be a little bit careful right around the open as the volatility increases and you can get trapped just a little bit. There can be a little bit fake out and market will eventually go where you thought it was going to go. So now that this is a small trading range in this bigger trading range, the rules apply the same. You treat this small trading range the same way you would treat the bigger one. So what you're going to do is after you found this high right here a market push below EMA this confirmed the resistance so this is going to be your highs for the trading range and these are going to be your lows for the trading there's a micro double bottom and this seems to hold price nice this is nicely proportional trading range in trading ranges what you're going to be doing you want to be sticking to shortened trend lines because and you're going to be sticking to tight shortened trend lines because you want to see a break new extreme and once you have a break and a new extreme at these extremes either highs or the lows that's when you expect straight up reversal because in tight trading ranges there's not going to be time for correction you're most likely going to straight up reverse after new extreme is going to be formed so price bounce at the resistance which is confirming the key entry point is pulling back below ema and gave you a first entry long pull back confirming bearish momentum and you're looking for felt second entry long below ema right here but there is no felt second entry long form there was a just bearish move that created move straight to the bottom so you didn't have a chance to jump on board on a safe entry right below exponential moving average. Price confirmed the support, but take a look how there is a downtrend working lower. So after a break of a downtrend, you're expecting for price to at least attempt to create a new low. It didn't happen and market reversed higher and market keeps working higher. So this is the area where something is changing. Because since there is not even a first entry below exponential moving average, but we pushed above, it's indicating bullish momentum. So according to price action rules, I'm going to switch the bias and I'm going to expect for price to go from this point all the way up to here. Remember, it can happen in tight trading ranges that there may not be new extreme. You don't want to rely on that. You always want to seek the new extreme to be formed, but it is completely normal that sometimes there's not going to be a new extreme form. There's a new low. There is a first entry short pullback, second entry short failure. So this is a failed second entry short after price came from the bottom and you expect for price to abide by the trading range rules and go all the way up to here. So this could be a decent high probability setup, but EMA is completely flat in the middle of these bars and you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars stacked going sideways. Had there been a reversal right on this bar right here, this would have been better. But for that reason, how stacked this is, this is not the best entry for me to mark. Okay, price created a new extreme. So from that point on, you expect correction or straight up reversal market is pushing sideways you're still hovering around this exponential moving average and take a look how you're in the middle of trading range ema is completely flat this is a no trade zone this is a great area you only want to wait for price to go to the extremes here or here so you can act and take a high probability setup you have to disregard the trades in the middle reversal patterns in the middle of trading range are okay but after you hung around a long period of time in the middle of trading range that's when according to rules you have to skip trading it now there's a move to a new extreme and price is retesting the resistance. Now when I was watching this live, I didn't take this short yet. Why I didn't take this short? It is a second entry short. This is the new low and there's a first entry short, pullback, second entry short. On a bigger picture, we can treat it as a first lag, pullback, second leg up after a little correction. So this looks really great. I didn't take it because I expected a legit fell breakout this is just a confirmation of resistance i wanted to see a push above the resistance and for me to fade the breakout but this was uh, i was a little bit too careful because looking bad looking back this is really a decent entry following the rules uptrend played out second entry short you have rooms to ema so i'm going to mark it as a high probability setup market continue pushing lower so from this point on when you're 
missing this entry right here you're expecting to get lower high or felt second entry long because you're once again coming from the resistance heading all the way to support you're pushing below exponential moving average but you already push way too down far away from ema so it doesn't matter which setup occurs here we have to stay patient and we cannot force the entry and look at the big bearish move down so you only have one chance to take the short and there was no lower high that would confirm the setup or no reversal pattern that would give you a safer entry and that happens in trading ranges that are tight like this and same thing happened to the upside move down and can we buy this entry we can't according to rules why because this is not safe there needs to be a break at least attempt for a new extreme and then we could be buying this this little felt breakout so we're just sitting on your hands patiently and this this is what sometimes we have to do just be patient as the market is strongly pushing above ema you're expecting for price to give you same thing right here felt second entry short you have a strong push above ema first entry short pullback second entry short failure but this is a gigantic bar and you would be entering at the very top of the move directly into this trend line. This is not a safe entry. Had it formed a little bit lower right here, this would have been a great entry. But like this, you have to skip this entry. Market keeps pushing higher. And just because it worked here once, it doesn't mean that it's, what it's going to work next time. You have a felt breakout on this big bearish bar. And most breakouts of trading ranges will fail. But once again, you're inside of this channel and this channel fits nice. Look how nicely it fits off the lows. Got to confirm here and it fits nicely at the top. So according to price action, you're most likely going to push lower, but you have to be patient. Price gave you a lower high confirmation. When I see a lower high like this, which is confirming the resistance and the failed breakout, this could be considered a decent entry. The only thing here is you have a short term trend line that is working higher. So it is a little bit risky, you're taking a chance, but you have to take into consideration what are the odds here. Here, This has been a proven trading range, EMA is completely flat, and this is a lower high confirmation. You have rooms to EMA, and EMA acts as a magnet, and you're most likely going to pull back. I didn't take this trade live because of the trend line, but once again, looking back, it is definitely worth the shot because trading is about probability, and if you keep taking a lot of these trades, you will come out... Uh, really profitable at the end of the day but i don't like forcing trades when i don't have to right after market opens so i was sitting here patiently as the market pushed below ema this is where you expect once again felt second entry long price action rules are simple this is nothing complicated we're coming from the top heading to the bottom first entry long second entry long but we don't expect second entry long because we pushed below ema and we don't expect new extreme not necessarily because the resistance is strong and we're just oscillating from the extremes there is little push higher above this bar so the felt second entry short happens or felt second entry long excuse me happens on this bar right here this is unenterable there at the very close of the bar there's a lot of buying pressure indicated by the bullish stim so this would have been a great entry context wise but you have to sit on your hands this is not the best entry there's not even an engulfing rever reversal bar nothing no entry context wise is perfect you want to sell your below ema you're heading all the way down here but unfortunately, the behavior of the market didn't allow you to go short here. Now, take a look what happened here. There was a strong bearish move down and you have an overshoot of the downtrend. What does overshoot mean in price action terminology? Overshoot leads to a break of a trend line or straight up reversal. So as I'm seeing this, I'm for sure not thinking about selling because I'm very far away from EMA and there is a lows that are matching and forming. At the same time, I don't want to buy as well. Most breakouts of trading ranges will fail, correct, but there is a shortened downtrend in play. The overshoot will give it a little bit more strength. A lot of times it can happen that overshoot will generate strong momentum. If you combine it with the full breakout, you will really push higher. But in this instance, I would recommend waiting for some nice higher low and you never got a better higher low. You got a higher low, but it is all choppy, all congestive. So you're just patiently sitting here on your hands and this sometimes there are these areas on the market when it's not safe to sell and not safe to buy you don't have to be buying or selling on every single aspect of the market no high, high probability setups are rare that's the point you're waiting patiently for those setups market created a new low give you a first entry short pull back second entry short this is the first break for this downtrend you expect new extreme form and also what's tricky about this you can treat it as a felt breakout from this congestion so a lot of reasons to go short but what's the problem here first of all there's the shortened trend line that is working higher and this was my main reason why i didn't take this trade live 
And you can see why being patient sometimes pays off because this would have been a nice trap. So there's the short trend line in play. There is the overshoot so we can expect reversal and we have a failed breakout so we can at the same time push back into a trading range. So no entry, very tempting. Traders got tripped up on this, a few traders, but you, if you draw the short and trend lines, uh, it will really filter those losing trades. As the market is pushing higher, you're back into trading range. So you're expecting for price to keep pushing all the way up. As the market is approaching EMA, you're expecting to get second entry long. Wrong, market completely pushed down, quite unexpected. And this was indication of a str strong bearish leg down. As I see a move like this, and I'm gonna zoom out of the chart, I can see that we are failing to push back above the uh, the support and we are pushing all the way down. So this tells me that the trading range is moving, but this is where it's starting to be really tricky for a lot of traders, myself included. Trading ranges where there are static highs and lows are easy to trade, but here we are shifting. No, highs are starting to be out, all over the place and lows are starting to be all over the place. But as I'm looking at the structure like this, I'm just gonna try to keep it simple. I'm gonna move and make my shortened trend line I'm going to measure first bearish lag and I'm going to use a measured move tool. Now, when I'm looking at the tool like this, I expect for price to still create a move all the way down. Market likes to move in pairs of twos and these measured tools, tools are reliable. So after one big leg down like this, you can make an assumption and it's reasonable for you to expect a second big leg down like this. So once I have a break of this trend line and I have first entry short, pull back second entry short at the exponential moving average. This was my first trade for the day and I got instantly trapped and stopped out. And when I was playing this live, I drew my trend line very tight and I probably shouldn't have because the structure is a trading range and it is high likelihood that we're going to uh, keep oscillating up and up and down in the V-shape reversals because this would be a great trend line if this was a nice bearish downtrend. But since this is a trading range, you really need to extend it a little bit like this. And you guys can see, you respect the trend line here and you survived. You respect the trend line here, you would have survived. This is why you draw these trend lines. But this was such a nice tool, like a pullback. I decided to take a chance here. I expected really new extreme. I expected move to measured move uh, all the way down here. Unfortunately, I got trapped. But once we take higher and some reverse down, this is where I re-entered. I figured everybody who went long here went long too early and they're going to get trapped and I created a quick, easy scalp re-entry. This would have been a nice double trap entry had we closed below EMA. I bent the rules just a little bit because we didn't close quite yet below EMA, but I figured it was worth context-wise because I really still liked the bearish idea of the context because we keep pushing lower and lower. Market gave you quick, easy scalp and then reversed. So this is now really confusing because uh, there is no clear downtrend, no clear uptrend, no clear lows, no clear highs. So the best bet is always stick to the shorter term patterns as you can. That's the, that's the best way. In the structure where you're confused, the shorter trend lines are your best bet. So we have an uptrend, break, new extreme, two legs up. So you consider this uptrend played out and you have a new high, you have a first entry long, pullback, second entry long, failure. You don't want to go long here. There is no bullish presence. If anything, you're on your way down. Uptrend played out. So I have a first entry long, second entry long, but it's at the EMA, but the context is horrible. For that reason, this failure is a great entry. As I see market like this, I'm going to draw my lows right here and I'm going to draw my highs. I'm not going to draw my highs yet because they are not too consistent, but I can see that the price is pushing lower. What I can do, I can identify a trend line like this that it keeps holding. But there is one thing that is a little bit wrong with this, and it is because in bigger trading ranges, in trading ranges, these wide patterns are not reliable. So, and you guys can see, I'm gonna skip just a, just a little bit. Price didn't manage to create a new extreme, and this is very common. So I would be a little bit careful drawing these bigger patterns in trading ranges, but it really got confirmed here nicely. I'm gonna quickly delete it. And take a look how you have a new extreme form, you have a push below EMA, and there's a first entry short, pullback, second entry short. Now, if you combine it with the bearish trend line that was here, it got nicely confirmed at this point on. This is only marked as an example because this is unenterable. You couldn't enter this quickly in time. 
it is way too big so your limit order would have been a little bit back and you would never get filled but this is a two-legged pullback second entry short it what looks like coming off the bearish downtrend now this was still very hard to trade because you continue pushing lower so from this point on you already reach the measured move goal you're very close to reaching the measured moves you don't have to be perfect you have to be close and i would consider this you're one point shy of reaching the target profit and this i would consider this being very close so i would be i would be expecting some sort of reversal or move up but take a look what happened you have a strong bearish move and you have new low first entry short pull back second entry short this is different from this short and this short right here this time there is a break and attempt to create new extreme which tells you that a lot of times attempt is enough and the buyers may not be no longer in control but you broke below this key level below this support you have a two-legged pullback measured down and you reach almost the measured move this trade ended up working but i'm i will mark it as an, an aggressive entry as it really is such a nice two-legged pullback and there's a break and an attempt to create a new extreme but take a look you would have just barely got scalp and then will instantly reverse because the measured move was made this is really uh, not really a downtrend this is just a range like structure and it's not the best entry but it is definitely a two-legged pullback that is worth taking a chance when i was watching this i honestly had no idea what to do here this was the point where i drew my support like this i was looking at this as a tight trading range you drew the short trend lines break two legs to the new extreme you're pushing lower but the ema is completely flat no highs are static no lows are static you just pushed from the main trading range to the lower trading range and then you made another push down and you're in, in another trading range you have multiple trading ranges in this mess and this is completely horrible structure this is the easiest way for retail traders to get chopped institutions are programmed to scalp one or two ticks and they can trade market like this we can't we trade high probability setups we want to see a clear context we don't want to be gambling we don't want to be guessing for that reason when you see a structure like this you really have to avoid you have to suppress the need to be taking entry right now and you have to sit on your hands because this is impossible to figure out what's going on here there's a new high first entry long pullback second entry long failure and it's also a second entry short this short right here was very tempting but you're going short at these lows uh everything is choppy no static key levels N nothing makes sense here so you really want to be patient same thing right here break new high two legged pull back up push below ema and you have a first entry long pull back second entry long failure but you're too close to the support everything is congested a lot of stims you cannot take entries here even though you can mark entries in hindsight it's not really smart marking these entries in hindsight because you can never identify this correctly uh live as the market is pushing strongly up you have a spike and a channel pattern forming so this is indication of a quite a nice bullish momentum you have a little bit move down there was a little bit spike in volatility you have a new high first entry long pullback second entry long but this is unenterable this is way too big so i'm not even go going to talk about it you have a break attempt to create a new extreme and you have a higher low confirmation of this initial two like a pullback this is a nice bullish higher low that close above exponential moving average in what looks like a bullish trend right now and you have an attempt and uh, you have a break and attempt to create a new extreme so this is a decent entry i will mark it as a slightly aggressive to me it's still too stacked ema is still too flat in the middle of these bars i'm not going to risk my money on entry like this but context wise the entry makes sense first break of the spike in the channel you expect new extreme and it is a high low that confirmed the two-legged like pullback but these bars are not clean and setups are not clean as price created a new extreme and you have a new high i was expecting to get a first entry long pullback second entry long below ema can we get it and we never got second entry long below ema and market pushed higher when i was watching this i was treating this again as a trading range and this was quite common i was treating it as a main trading range that pushed down into middle trading range push down a little bit into low trading range push back up into trading range so horrible structure to make sense of what's going on here but i have to stick to the shortened trend lines so i'm going to draw all of these shortened trend lines so if we if i don't have a failed second entry long below ema i just adapt and i just switch okay market is pushing higher keeps pushing higher big move back down to this trading range so now i was really expecting to get once again felt second entry long 
I never got it below EMA, market kept pushing higher, and this is all very stacked. As you're watching this, you can find a pattern like this. You can treat it as a spike and a channel pattern, but this is a little bit too flat. This is really, you know, very close to being a trading range, but you, can, you can't ignore how the lows are being formed. The problem here is that this is so stacked and this is so unclear and so stemmy that this is really not what this strategy is based on. You're supposed to be taking high probability setups when the context is clear, when the two-legged pullback is clear, when the breakout is failing and it's all clear, when the traps are clear. You can make a case and you can manufacture story for taking any setup in this mess. Same thing right here and same thing right here. When you're manufacturing stories, that's when you can get into trouble. As you have a new low and you have a first entry short, a market is giving you signs that this trend line is really holding now. I was expecting felt second entry short above EMA, above this resistance that would trap a lot of traders who went short too early, but there is no trigger below. There is no trigger below none of these bars. So there is no felt second entry short. You only get a first entry short that fell, but the second entry short is hidden and you can't take, you can't tr take hidden failures. That's not really a reliable setup. Now there was a overshoot of the uptrend. So you're expecting once again, a little bit of a correction or straight up reversal. So you have a first entry long, second entry long, but you have to go at the very high. So that's really, that's not really good. Market gave you another overshoot and this pattern overall fears very uh, flat. So what you can do is since you know that a bigger pattern takes time to develop, after we corrected for such a long time in this trading range, this was enough time for a correction for bigger pattern to develop because you don't want to be uh, like this, making it so quickly. No, these bigger patterns, really, the trading range needs to be quite long and the correction needs to be quite long and then you have a count range or move up. So as the price is pushing higher and you're very close at the high of the day, which is why it's important to mark it at the, each, at the beginning of each day. You guys can see how it's coming into play. I, I skipped a little bit, but when I was watching this and I saw first entry long, second entry long, I cannot take long right here because downtrend is still in play. Uh, and there's a break, new extreme, very tempting entry, but you're below EMA and it is better to wait for higher low entry. This entry is really tempting. You know what? I will even mark it as an aggressive entry because context is telling you it's good to go long here. This is a micro double bottom. Trend line is holding price. Everybody who went short on a felt second entry long is right now trapped. They trigger their order and instantly reversed. You know they're panicking. But for this to be a legit high probability double trap, it would have to close above EMA once again. So a little bit risky, but the context wise, this makes sense. You still have room to this high of the day. Market push higher. We reverse strongly down. I don't think you want to just pick a top just yet. But now when you have a strong move down, this is when the structure is finally after the entire day of clouded price session starting to be really clear. Because as the, price is, as the price is pushing lower, this is now a bearish downtrend. And high probability setup is going to be a two-legged pullback at the key entry point. So as the price is pushing higher and you have a new low, you have first entry short, pullback, second entry short, big bearish bar right at the exponential moving average. And this is a two-legged pullback with the direction of a trend, break of a trend line, new extreme is anticipated. And this is the clean high probability setup that you're anticipating and it was a quick easy scalp market confirmed a lower high but this is a bullish bar you cannot go short here and there was a nice first entry long second entry long failure but you're quite far from ema you're going short directly into these lows so this can a lot of times bite you and you don't want to go short into these lows but this time it worked just because it worked here once that doesn't mean that you're going to use this and trade it next time because just because it worked here once you will make a mistake in the future and you can have a losing trade. So this is finally when price action is getting simple, clear, obvious. This is the two-legged pullback that we've been waiting for the entire day. Once again, you keep waiting for those few setups. As the market keeps pushing lower and lower, what is your first inclination to do? Correct. You have to find a bigger pattern. You have to make the trend line wider. So you're going to find a trend line like this. And market keeps pushing lower, market keeps pushing lower. 
And now you're expecting what you're expecting once again, a second entry short like this at the key entry point. You have a new low, first entry short, second entry short at two key entry points. The more key entry points you have, the stronger the confluence is. This was my last trade for the day. I, I was 2-1 for the day uh, with the one losing trade. So two winners, one losing trade. I, I didn't want to take this trade. Why? Because I really see the uptrend working higher. I cannot make a case for a slight break at a new extreme. But take a look at the structure. This is a huge bearish downtrend and this is a hard exponential moving average. It's completely pointing down and every single touch of exponential moving average is being rejected. So the context is telling you that this is decent. This is a different setup than right here. Even though there's a second entry short and uptrend is in play, you cannot ignore the uptrend here because this is overall trading range structure and you really have to pay attention. When this is such a strong downtrend like this and you take a look at the bearish momentum, how strong the sellers were, and it's such a small bar, you can really take a chance on an entry like this. So looking back at this, I should have taken the entry because it is really nice to like a pullback, two key entry points. That's even more confluence and more strength for the setup. Then you have a new high, first entry long, second entry long failure. But where, where are you located? At the very low of the day, a lot of times this comes into play. So I wouldn't recommend shorting directly into this entry. A lot of times, when there is so much price action from the low or high, high of the day and it hasn't been tes tested the entire day, you can ignore it. But this time, this price action is still fairly normal. This is not like insane volatility. This is normal volatility. So this is still respectable low of the day. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to continue in this downtrend because now that we have a clear price action and we have a first break of the downtrend, we are expecting for price to create a new extreme. This is the simple price action. Unfortunately, there is no trigger below this bearish bar. So this entire move is just a first entry short. This is a hidden second entry. This entry right here, first entry doesn't have trigger. If you will go on a lower time frame, lower tick chart, you would see a legit two leg up pullback. The first entry would have triggered. But this, for that reason, it's called a hidden entry. Also, this hidden second entry is at the key entry point and context wise, you expect new extreme. So you can make a case for shorting I wouldn't recommend it. I would really want to wait. It would have worked, but I would really want to wait for price to give me a nice two like a pullback. Now there is an EMA gap bar, which is the first bar that gapped above the EMA after such a long downtrend on a legit second entry. I'm not going to market because this is only for advanced traders, but this is how EMA gap bar looks. And then you have a lower high confirmation of two like a pullback. And remember, you still expect new extreme to be formed after first break. So you're expecting for price to push back below EMA, you got quick easy scalp, but price never created a new extreme. We just reverse from here, low of the day held price. And you guys can see market went into this trading range and later on we closed at lows. This was the structure for today, very hard, very hard day to read, very hard day to trade. This was almost impossible to find a safe entries because trading range like this, is decent and fairly easy to trade. Then you move to the downside and you have a variation of a trading range with no static highs and no static lows. Everything is, you know, all over the place. Everything is choppy. Everything is a bar wire. So you just want to be patient. And same thing when you push higher, a lot of choppiness, a lot of mess. And even though there's a bullish bias in here, you don't get almost no clean entry that you can rely on. So a lot of times, um, you're going to encounter a price session like this. You just have to be patient and that's the name of the game. And later on market once again rewarded you as it happens <laughs> lately with a few good setups. So you, I hope you had a great training. I will hope you didn't get chopped to pieces in this mess. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Take care, buddy.